hello lovely viewers welcome to pablo keys welcome to pablo keys please if you are new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel today i'm going to give a lesson and the lesson i'm going to give i'm going to teach you how to understand this keyboard yamaha pxr e463 i'm going to explain some things to you on this keyboard how you going to know the functions and how they work i'm going to explain the important one the functions important functions in the yamaha i'm going to explain everything to you first let's begin with this function i think you can see this one we have a place called the registration memory the registration memory and then you see there is a bank here then you see the numbers that these, these are the bank numbers one two three and four so what you are going to do is this function the bank you know bank I, bank is a place where we keep something for us to go for it uh, later when we need it so this bank too is also serve as our memory you see so if in case i have a tone like this and maybe i have a tone but i want to save this tone so that's when I own the keyboard for the first time, there is no need for me to be playing, going to, uh, to press this, press this before I get the settings or to set the keyboard again. So what I'm going to do is to press and hold this bank here and press the number that I'm going to save it. So let me save it with four. You see, I've said it. So you, you see something like memory. Okay, let me do it again. So I'm saving you see what you're going to see. So memory okay, then it means it's 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 been stored there. So let me off the piano. I'm owning it. You let me change the tone to another tone and be playing. You see that this tone. And in case I want to change this tone first to the game plan that I want, I just need to press on this number four. You see the bank number four. Then I'm there. So this is how you store a tone on Yamaha PXL. P, I think PXL E463. You can do same to PXRE, I think uh, PXRE55, I think it's 5453 or so, yeah, 453. And this track control, this track control to, you see a place, now, now I'm moving from this bank to this track control, you see, track control, right, left, you see, one chord one chord two then then this thing the one 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 track control this track control is used to record multiple do multi uh, multi tracking sometimes you see some people be record you can record a strings and you play the strings and record another thing like a lead guitar to and also do a recording on how to you see like you can play many things like you see this number here, this number is here, you see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this is, this is the track, so you see, see something on. I can remove the numbers. So this helps you to, this helps you to do multi-tracking. So this helps you to do multi-tracking. Multi-tracking, I said simply, for you to understand multi-tracking, it's like, you can play a strings, and maybe if you want to learn uh, if you want to learn how to do soloing you can use that to do the recording if you record it to one then you you call an another one to two you got another one to three the reason why they are writing drums here and then the bass here and the chords here is like you can record here as your drum and you can record here as your bass and you can record here as your chord one and then the chord two or in this this part is you can add strings and another thing but you can record anything to that number that you like maybe you can record your drum here 
your your base here, your backing track here, your leading here. But this one, this is a freeze. But you, I will talk more on this tracking. I will do a lesson on this multi tracking, multi tracking. How to record, how to create beats, and how to. Uh, I'll do more lesson on this side. So let's move on to this place. See this place, this is the button, as we all know, this is the button. And we see something here, the transpose. As we all know, if you press it, this transpose straight off to the transpose function. About, I'm going to explain the functions, the transpose, how to use everything. I'm going to explain things. I'm not here to explain transpose, but transpose, yeah, I think most of you understand transpose. Yeah, it's like transpose. Maybe I'm playing this key. This is F. As you can see F so I'm playing F but if you think you don't know how to play F sharp and you want it to sound F sharp yes make this thing go here press display this place the fighter plus is or the number and it will lead you to plus one and it will sound it will sound as F sharp so another thing too, if you want the minus, you can just press on the minus, minus and the number straight of like minus five. You see, it's now in minus five. So minus five will be C. The reason why it is going to be C, the reason why it's going to be C is like, you see, counting from this number is, uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. So it is one, two, three, four, five. So minus five. You go to uh, one, two, three, four, five. If you want to play a key like this, B flat, you count one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, meaning it's plus five. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is either plus five or minus seven. In in case you are playing and the thing is already at minus five. Listen, the thing is already at minus five, meaning the thing is C. But you are playing F and it is at minus five. And you pick the key at B, I think B flat. Don't mistakenly and go and, and, and press on. You just have to add 5 to the minus 5. Adding 5 to the minus 5 will give you 0. So it will go to 0, 0. You understand? So it will be minus 5 plus 5. Or minus 5 minus 7. You understand? So. Let me move from the transpose zone to another function and explain the function. So this is the function, the button to the function. If you press on the function, you press on the function, this is the function. If you press on the function, the function will come. And I think uh, this is a song volume. This is a song volume. This 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 song volume is when you do a multi tracking, when you do a multi tracking and you are playing the multi tracking song, this is where you can increase the volume, or decrease the volume, of the multi tracking track, or maybe you've created a bit using it for lesson. This is where you are going to do the increasing of the volume and then decreasing the volume, and this two, this groove thing is, I think it's. In this one, osh, osh in volume, osh in volume. We have a chord, chord in chord osh. I think it's pin to pin. You can connect to at the back of this. Let me show you where it is. Yeah, I think this is where the osh is. This is somewhere here. This is where the osh is. You see it's osh in. So if you connect the, it is it's like an ear pin side, but it's osh in. It's pin to pin. So if you connect this osh to maybe your phone. And you are playing this is where you're going to you can increase the volume or you decrease the volume so let's go to next function this one to usb in volume you see the volume so if you are if connected a usb and you are playing a song this is where you are, can increase the volume or decrease the volume you see mm -hmm. so this is the buttons this is the category where you you can use to go to the next category just sorry this one to you see this is where we are going to use to increase either the volume this the plus will increase the volume the minus will decrease the volume 
and let's go to the next function the transpose i think i've talked about the transpose transpose if you want to play a key sometimes maybe you don't know the from you are not familiar with maybe the key i've talked about you so let me let me not waste time on it the tuning sometimes too hmm, the keyboard may be like sometimes someone will say ah this keyboard is this tune sometimes keyboard too they they they, they sometimes be in that situation maybe sometimes you are holding the keyboard and maybe it falls down it can this tune so th this is the place where you can tune it so this is the tuner you see the tuning yeah so this is where this the function seven you see the function seven i'm not so let's go to the function number nine function number nine is very powerful you see see you so let me increase huh so you see where is it see something on when it is at 56 this is sp spelled point so this function helps you when you want to maybe play the left as a bass or play it at a backing backing chord you see where let me show you an example you see this place see you you see where the spirit is now on it's at this place you see it's at this place so if it comes um if i come back 55 it will be at the way this one the way you see so it's if it's here let me see i want it to be here you see where it is 48 so it means the spirit point will be at here this place only this place but when it come here it sound different Okay, so now I just want the I want the bass to come here, somewhere here. So let me go forward and see something. What I'm going to do? Please, uh, some people requested for this. That's why I'm doing it. Let's go forward. You see, so you make sure that thing be at maybe 55. So you see, now the bass is here. See something now? Now the bass is here. And then this place is our piano. So this is the is the function spelled point. Is the spelled point where you want the, your spelled tone to end. So you just see something. See you. The spelled function. The spelled function is on. If it goes off, this is where the spelled function is. If it goes off, like this. If you turn it on, it will show. But if you press it again and then it's off, you see that it won't display on the screen. Okay, so let me go forward. I think you now have gotten it. So now my split point is at, I think it's at 55. You see now the split is not in. So it sounds normal. The split is not in. But if I, I press on the split, you see how it's going to be. Okay. So let's go forward. So I will just give more on this as we are going. Let's go to the next function and see. Touch release. Let, let me talk about this one too. This is M volume. The M there means the main volume. The M is the main volume. The reason why we, we, it, it is the main volume is like... We have the main tone. You understand? Like, if I on the keyboard, if I on the keyboard for the first time, the tone that comes first is my main. You see, it's my main. You see? This is my main tone. Okay. This is my main tone. You understand? So this function. This function. I think the function is here. I'm, I'm at function 11. This function. See something. You see? You see where the function? The volume is. My volume is. To its it to its 
to hit maximum size like it can't go again so i think my volume is so if i want to increase the volume i'll just add then i'm using it's going to 170 and i can lower it here too if i lower it here see something the main volume see what is, what is going to happen see you. the volume is still at its maximum place but you see it's down you see the volume is at its maximum place. i'm just placing on the keys but it's down you understand it's down but if i want to increase the volume i can increase it at the main volume see you let me play a song i record a song yeah, let me let me show you the function that i was talking about the song you see i'm playing this song about you understand you see i've lowered it i'm increasing it here you understand so this is the song volume i think i was at i was at 11 function 11 so this is the main volume you see the main volume is down let me increase it to i think one one if you want to increase it and if you want to change it straight off you can just place the number maybe i want one twenty seven. just straight to come to 127 or you want to place you can place on one two four, or let me one two three you see the number you place it will come let me place on maybe one two five it will come straight okay one two five it has come so this is the volume let me go to the next next function next function is an octave yeah you see octave i've been talking about octave i talked octave in my beginner's lesson lesson two is very powerful very 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 powerful very very powerful you see I, i've been talking about octave you see the keyboard from this place this place is one octave this place to this place one octave this play two to 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 this place two is another octave to this place to another octave c to this another octave you see so octave is like so from from c to six one octave yeah, octave another octave so this keyboard i think is five octave keyboard so maybe you are playing this side you see oh i'm at the highest place this uh, i'm a but it seems it's, it's lighter but i just want to push this octave back i just have to minus this minus this you see i'm playing this place over but you see that it's become the it's becoming deep the sound is becoming deep let me go it to minus two octave main octave minus two see you see i'm octave minus two I'm playing at the back here, but it's sounding like it's a bass, like the ending. This is the high out. You see this bass? It's been something. Hmm. So this is what we call the octave. This is what we call it, the octave, main octave. So our next function is this 13. Huh. So this function too. Ah, someone asks me, "Why? Well, what is the meaning of this pan? This is main pan. We talk about the pan. Talk about main pan. Let me give you a simple uh, example. It's like balance. Simply, it's like balance. Balancing of the speaker. You see, this we have two speakers here. One here and another one here. You see, one here and another one here. See something? You know? See something? If I want the sound to go to, to only the right, 
I can just increase the pan. I'll just increase it. You see, the sound is not coming at the left too, but it's coming at the right. It's only coming here. Like the sound will come at at the right, but it won't come at the left. But if I want it to, maybe if I want it to come to the left, I can just decrease it to the lowest form. And the sound won't come. The sound won't come at the right. You see, It'll come at the left. You can try it. You can try it at home. It'll come at the left. So you see. Mm -hmm. So this is the. Uh, main purpose of the pan main purpose of the pan let me make it 67 and let me go forward to this revive revive is like like we talk about revive is like the sound gives a feedback it will be like let me let me show you you let me remove the octave that I did the octave The main octave. Let me make it zero. Let me make it zero. I'm at the pan. Okay, I'm a vibe. See how this keyboard is sound now. You see? So this revive function called revive. If it goes high. You see, it's having some sound. Maybe it's different from. It's like sustain, but it's not sustain. Sometimes when you are at a place where the you are playing something at a place where it is enclosed, you see that the sound will be some giving you some feedbacks. So it's sounding di different. You see the sound. The revive too is revive. Something when you talk about something you revive, yeah, I mean, I mean you understand. Let's talk about this function to attack. Uh, function sixteen. This attack to this work like. You see, it's 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 at area sixty four, but attack is like. Uh, let me let, if let me see. I'm pressing on this key like this. You see how it's coming. If I increase the attack, then <laughs> the sound will be like it will be fading off. Like the sound will be like it's go down. So I have to to place the keyboard with a higher way before it comes. It's like let me let me let me show you an example. Like let me let me make it go somewhere like hundred. Let me see. You see, the sound is down, and I don't know how I now need a yano. Okufu, as I said, I don't need a yano. Okufu, like you see, volume is higher at its maximum point. Why you see the attack? So the attack. I've given you a clue about the attack. So the attack is. So I'm playing a gun piano, but you see, since the attack is seen, it's not sounding, sounding some way. Be. So the attack is some function. Be. I believe you understand. So attack, it was 64. Uh -huh. So let me go to the next function. Release. This function release. This function works like sustain release main release so it's the ones with m it's affecting the main tone you understand so the main release means let's see something this is at 55 see what? 
if I press on this note, see how it will sound. You see? Immediately I remove my hand, the sound stop. You see? But let me increase this release and release. Let me increase it to I think the maximum is one seventy say one twenty seven. I think the maximum. So you see how it is sound. See how it is sound. So it sounds like a such thing. See see. Sustain. So let me reduce it to somewhere 90 and let's let's see how it's going to sound. So let's see something. The release is now at 80, 89. Let me let, let me make make it go to 100. So it sounds like sustain. So let me make it go to like 115. Let's see. See how it's sounded. So, I do more, yami. I do more, I do. I do me thing, I me tasty. I have what do me thing, I me want. So the essence of my praise is centered on your grace. I do, I do. I do more, you me. I do more, I do. I do me I me I see. I have do me I me So the essence of my pain is centered on your grave. I do, I do, I do. So this one I was playing uh, C sharp. So the C sharp that I'm playing, you see, I'm re I'm using the main release um, the main release function the main release function is at i think 115 you see 115 so it sounds like the such thing release release it's like you see so, i do more hey i'm playing this up <laughs> i do more you me i do more i do I do me dinami so I do me dinami I see I have do me dinami So the essence of my praise is centered on your grace I do So you see now you see so let's continue the function I'm not, I'm not uh, today I'm not teaching Adam I'm just explaining the functions so let's go. This function was at. Let me see. You see the M. Anything concerning the M M M affects only the main tone. I'll come to the dual tone. We have something called dual. Dual is to anything. Dual is to I think dual. If if my my if I'm 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 saying that. So let's go to the cut off. Cut off is like. Cut off is the opposite of release. You see, uh, in case let me let me show something. Cut off is the opposite of release. You let me add the re release function and you use the cut off to to break it down. Let me see. So this cut off. So the release function is working as the sustain. So now let me use the cut off. So the cut off too is at 64. You let me increase the cut off to as to 127 and let's see. What is it? You see what is happening? The release is in the cut off is in. So let me remove the release. Release should be at 64. This place is okay. And this, you see the cut of how it works. 
the tone immediately I remove my hands you know it goes Wizzle 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 now And we have this resonance. This is M main resonance. It's like something. This one. Hmm. You see how I play the, the piano sound? It sounds. If I add the resonance, it's like. It will add some. Some. Uh, wait. I don't buy it yet. Like. It will. Hmm. Let, let's see how it's going to be like. Sounds is sharpened, it's like some way. I've given you how this one to work the main resonance. So let's go to this function now. We are at D voice. If you, saw, if you see something like D voice, this, this is a function. You see D voice, you see D voice first, and 